five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, stay tuned because in about 25 minutes from right now, we'll go to our new improved citizens panel. Uh, yes, here on the Ramble that goes until midnight. But right now, let's check in as we always like to do with an old friend of ours. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from out on the. Uh, uh, well, uh, the the left of the is it the, yeah it's the left coast of the United States of America. It's what's left of the United States of America. Larry Bubbles Brown. I think it's the wet coast. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> rainy. Is, is rain it, keeps coming. So. The rain keeps coming. It's very sunny here in New York, which is uh, we're finally uh, we're finally finally seeing the grips of uh, of spring. Um, in we some. had two sunny days last week. I was getting worried about my mold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to take care of the mold, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, they always talk about the mold, and I never see the mold. Do you ever see the mold? Actually, you get a little black stuff in the bathroom. Yeah, I got to blast that with Comet, but I don't. People act like it's deadly. I don't know if it is or not. Yeah. Yeah. So how you been, Larry Bubbles Brown? Good. I just back. I was thinking about last time we talked. Uh, we talked about the. You mentioned that time you had the drink with your father at Tahoe. So you, I was up at Tahoe and I thought about that. Uh, oh really? Visual you. Yes. Yeah. Where at? Where oh, at? I where I was at, at South Shore, not North Shore. But, right. Uh, the dreaded South which Shore. Is, yeah. That California side is so. <laughs> that's such a beautiful place, and the California side is just disgusting just uh tacky motels and crap and then the yeah nevada side is so much cleaner yeah yeah well uh the nevada side is is uh you say cleaner yeah because there's only there's like four big casinos and not a bunch of crappy tacky stuff yeah yeah well i don't know if it's tacky the california side i just think it it excuse me i'm trying to get some cough drops here uh, that's where all the noise is. Here. Oh no, the house is on fire. Um, <laughs> that was the first sound effect I ever learned. That was you're the uh, best sound effect man in the business. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's very real. I'm standing over to the side of the announcer, saying, "Oh, the place is on fire." <laughs> uh, anyway, um, that's the only, uh, believe it or not, only sound effect I know. Period. Uh, Good one. Yeah, good one. Good one. Good one. Anyway, so where were we? Oh yeah. So um, uh, the 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 you know the there uh, in case people don't know, Lake Tahoe is uh, is the state line goes right through Lake Tahoe, and um, on the uh, Nevada side, you've got all the uh, gambling commerce going and all the big hotels because they can afford it due to the due to the gambling, and on the other side, you have really what. Uh, can be best described as resort communities, mm-hmm. you know, uh, because uh, they they don't have any gambling, uh, and so it was always that the the Nevada side was the most built up and neon like and uh, uh, you know party time and all of that, and the other side was where families went to go rent a cabin, you know, yeah. So that that was the. Uh, the history of it, and uh, my father used to work at Cal Neva, which has literally a, a dance floor in the uh, what were they called the uh, North Shore room, I think it was called, uh, and that was also where Sinatra played and so on. That was their their showroom, and there is a line going right through that room that is the state line. And there's yeah, a line through the uh, the swimming pool. The swimming as well. pool as well. They have a line drawn in the swimming pool, and you can swim from. Well, how did you do today? Did you exercise? I swam all the way from <laughs> two states, Nevada to California. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was the big deal. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I, it, not a, not a bad thing. Uh, you know, it it it. Uh, 
I, and I grew up there. I kind of every summer, my father played Cal Neva. So they had uh, on uh, the Cal Neva property, they had uh, cabins. And that's where they put up the musicians in these cabins. Uh, we were like itinerant farm workers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but they were nice cabins, but they were they were rustic. They were, you know, like you're in the woods type cabins. And um, so I grew up there, you know, uh, playing around and, you know, going. And, and I always just remember there were always two sides, and there was always the attitude there. If, uh, let me explain to people. There's a North Shore and there's a South Shore. And the North Shore used to be the classy place to go. You had Cal Neva Lodge, and you know Sinatra owned that, and it was everything north was the place to be. And on one side of the north in California, you had all these uh, all these, as I say, resort communities, and to in Nevada, all of a sudden you had all the gambling establishments. But no, it wasn't that much, okay, uh, and. Uh, we would always look down on the South Shore, you know. My mm -hmm. father would say, let's go for a ride. And my mother would say, well, why don't we go down to the South Shore? And he goes, we don't want to go there. All they, I think they only had like one casino down there. And I don't even know if it was Harrah's. I forget what it was called. It was Harvey's. It was, Harvey's. I don't even know. I think Harvey's, yeah. Yeah, uh, that came up in the, that was the first big one there. Here, here's how they made the South Shore into a bigger place. Harvey decided to spend money and buy a snow plow <laughs> and they <laughs> and, and they literally plowed the road that came into Tahoe so that the cars could get into the south shore but they never did that to the uh, to the north shore but the, what the north shore had going for they had like Squaw Valley which was a very big skiing area home of the Olympics in what 1960 was it 1960 mm -hmm. uh, and uh uh, it, 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 so it had its own thing and everybody looked down on the South shore, but then all of a sudden in comes Caesars and in comes Harris and in comes all of these. And all of a sudden the North shore starts drying up. And I mean, you go to Cal Neva lodge if it's, I think it's still there. It's just like a dump, you know, but it, yeah, used, it's still there. Yeah. But it used to be the classy place. So where did you play in uh, Tahoe? I did a little, uh, well, usually I do Harvey's, and somebody had a one-nighter at a, a place where they, these magicians work, and it's actually on the California side. It's yeah. called The Loft. The Loft at Tahoe. It was just one night, but it was fun. And I left the next day, and uh, as right over, I got over 50. I guess there was a landslide in 50, part of a collapse, so I just missed that, so it was good timing. Yeah. It was always, it, 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 as, I, as I, I think I told you once before, the, the attitude about Tahoe at one point was who the hell would want to come up here you know uh, because it was a long ride from San Francisco and you did have to go through mountains and you used to have to oh, go over very, very big mountains yeah going to the north shore the Sierra Nevada uh, you had to go through the Donner Pass uh, where years and years earlier an entire party of people starved to death okay it was that bad during the winter and um they and the Donner, but the Donner Pass was great because I remember going on a taking a woman on a date, and I said, "Let's go up to Donner Pass," you know. So we drove all the way from San Francisco, all the way up to Donner Pass, and it. Well, how long does it take to get to to Tahoe from San Francisco? About uh, three, four, four hours, four and a half hours, four four and a half hours. So we got to Donner Pass, and we got there at midnight, and we went out on the rocks at Donner Pass because there are these huge kind of boulder things you know what i'm talking about yeah and we would just lie there looking up at the stars it was very romantic and very nice and we didn't they didn't freeze to death because it wasn't winter um but that that was donner pass then what they did is to make travel to tahoe faster they built a new highway that bypassed that old road and that was a great road to drive because you had all the scenery and so on. Now it's it, it, it's a road that just, a, you know, and had no flavor to it. And that's the only one you can really take now. I think the old road's still there somewhere. But uh, um, 
They did all that to get more traffic into Tahoe. So between the snow plows and the widening of the roads and new highways going in there, uh, it became quite a destination. And during the summer, I mean, I don't think you can even get a hotel room in there. No, no. But it was, uh, I still like it up there. I just Oh, I was married there. You know, I got, oh, really? I got wow. married there to, 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 to Marjorie. We went to late... Uh, we were out on the West Coast. We were, went to go. We were going to go see a movie. <laughs> we went to the West Coast to see a movie, okay? Because they were showing Napoleon, the Abel Gans film, uh, with a full symphony orchestra conducted by Carl Davis, uh, who does original m silent scores and is, does beautiful work. And so Shecky was going to meet us out there, and that's why we went to California. And I figured as long as we're in California. Why don't I surprise her and let's get married? <laughs> because she had proposed, I think, on uh, it was uh, it was leap year, and on leap year, a woman can propose to the man, right? On on leap day. I'd never heard that. Yeah, so she proposed to me, and I I think my answer was a very romantic answer. She said, uh, "Will you marry me?" <laughs> and and I said, uh, "Well, I can't see any reason not to." That was my answer. <laughs> Alex very Bennett, romantic. <laughs> always the very romantic uh, uh, person, okay? Uh, and and uh, so um, that was our, uh, uh, our, our uh, uh, we got, we, I just said to her when we were out there, I said, why don't we just go over to, I think it was, we went to Macy's, or not, was it Macy's? No, we went to a, a ring store, in, uh, a jewelry store in uh, Maybe I went to Macy's and got mine. I took her to a jewelry store and got hers, the wedding ring. And we headed up to Tahoe for the day. And we, we, we she called ahead, found some woman that was a one-stop uh, uh, marriage machine. Uh, and you would take the, this woman, you go up, and she had the ability to marry you, you know, legally, and have you sign all the papers and all that. And then she could do the uh, service, and she always did it out on the shore of Lake Tahoe. That's where we wanted to do it. It was freezing. Uh, and uh, she, uh, she married us and then took, took pictures. She, that was part of the deal. There were pictures. So I think it was like for $600 or something. She did the whole, the whole number. And uh, we went up there and got married. So. Wow. And have been living miserably ever since. So, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, oh, just kidding if you're listening, Marjorie. Uh, but it, well, it, I, huh? Yeah, I stopped. Uh, it's just it's great up there. Yeah, no, I. I had an old uh, memory. I stopped by Harris because I remember this. I was up there long before I was in comedy in 1975, and they still have a postcard because I remember this. It was considered the most unusual booking in the history of Harris. It was Frank Sinatra and John Denver, which. Uh, it's odd, I think. Uh, yeah. Very, very odd. Yeah, that was when John Denver was getting huge, and I just remember there was a big talk about that when they booked that, and I looked, they still had the postcard in there at the Harris. So. Wow. Wow. Uh, I, I didn't know that they played together. but Yeah, just it was just one week. What year was that, do you know? It was August of 75. Well, that was, that was when Sinatra's career was kind of, his singing was not as good as it was. I think, yeah, you told me his voice is kind well, of Well, I'm trying to think. I think that was after uh, he retired. I think for I think it, it was maybe two years. He said he was getting out of the business, and one yeah, of the, the typical showbiz retirement. Well, one of the reasons he said he was getting out of the business was because um, his um, uh, his voice was going. And he didn't feel he was at the peak of his powers anymore, and he couldn't get to the notes he wanted to get to. And he just quit. Uh, and uh, they held a big goodbye, farewell concert. I, there's a recording of it. It uh, uh, was hosted, I think, by, was it Rosalind Russell, if I'm not mistaken? And um, um, he sang all his hits, and that was goodbye, Frank. And then it was like, no more Frank Sinatra. And then about two years later, he decided he was going to come out of retirement because he figured out a way to bypass the notes he couldn't hit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he came back and he 
it was old Blue Eyes is back, but it, he you could tell the difference. There was a mm -hmm. difference. And then it just got worse from there. Uh, so about 75, he was on the edge of not being that great. And so I would see, and he was also, he was feeling the, uh, it seems that every time we start talking, I start talking about Frank Sinatra. Uh, I know. He did uh, a, um, he he felt the, the, the pain of pop music coming in. Uh, in those days, he could make the, the charts because everything was contained in those charts, you know, and then all of a sudden you had the Beatles and you had the Rolling Stones and there was no way you were even going to get in the top 10. So he started becoming an anachronism. And so in order to try and keep up with the times, he was putting out albums where he'd do things like Light My Fire, one of the worst Sinatra records of all time. <laughs> uh, Sounds bad. <laughs> it, well, imagine Sinatra trying to do Light My Fire. <laughs> all right. And uh, at the very end, he's going, Light My Fire, Light My Fire, Light My Fire, Light My Fire, and fades out. It, it's just, if you ever get a chance to listen to it, folks. And then he did, he did a pretty good version of Bad, Bad Leroy Brown. But as they say, he was trying to keep up with what was happening rather than just say, hey, you know, I'm good at one thing. Let me do that, you know. And the only thing, the only time he ever kind of tried to pop it up was during the disco era. Uh, he did a, a version of uh, All or Nothing at All, and I think on the other side, Night and Day with a disco background, and it worked. Oh, wow. Wait a minute, it worked. It worked. Because, really? yeah, because he would, they, they would do that, you know, that disco, whatever, I, I can't even describe it, background. And then he just sang it straight. I mean, if you had taken his voice, separated it, and then put it with an orchestra, it still would have been the same, okay? And it worked. But that was the only time in his whole trying to break into the pop era. And then he did the worst album ever, a, a whole album of songs written for him by Rod McEwen, who is, uh, if people don't remember Rod McEwen, he was the worst poet ever in the history of America. A horrible poet. <laughs> I do remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, so uh, he, he tr did an album, and uh, that was horrible. And uh, he just, he couldn't come back from it, is what happened. Every now and then he would turn out some album. There was an album called Trilogy in which he did the past, the present, and the future. And uh, it, was, it was okay, but you could still hear his voice was kind of shot. But... All I'm saying is, is that 1975, it's not unusual that he would say, oh, you know, John Denver's hip with the kids. I think I should double bill with him. Yeah, that was probably it. Now the question is, who went on last? <laughs> yeah, I, it had to be Frank. I would say it would have to be Frank, yeah. Yeah, I don't think Frank would do anything else but go on last, you know. Well, he was uh, six seventy-five. He would have been sixty. So, is a, is a singer's voice usually gone that early? No, but he was drinking and he was smoking, and he was doing all. He wasn't taking care of the instrument, you know. Uh, once the instrument w went back about nineteen forty-eight, I think, uh, and he he literally blew out his larynx for a period small period small period of time they said he was he was over he was finished because it, of the uh, thing that happened to his throat but he ca overcame it and when he came back his voice was even better because it had a lower edge to it and uh so he had been through that before but you know all the smoking and and uh drinking caught up with him and and, and you know when you're a singer your only instrument is your voice, so you better fucking goddamn well take care of it. And he didn't. And I hate him for it because I, I there's a there's a, a, a concert in Milan that I have a recording of because I have a lot of these recordings that were, you know, done but never released and things like that. And in Milan, this is like I don't know in the eighties. He, he tries to do night and day and starts off the beginning of it with such a clam. That's the term we use for not wow. you know going off key. 
such a clam that you just can't even believe it's Sinatra, you know. And and I whenever I I have that on my uh, on my iPhone, and whenever it comes on, I immediately go to the next track. I can't stand to listen to it because I love Sinatra so much. And there was that 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 period of time between uh, nineteen oh fifty two and 1965 maybe 70 that is like his prime era he he could do no wrong he sang every song perfectly and the only time he ever got serious in his life is when he got in the studio and what am i doing talking about frank sinatra again <laughs> you know I, I i can't believe that all of a sudden i'm talking about San, frank sinatra again well, I like this, and I told you, Mort Saul just worshipped Sinatra, and uh, he must have been amazing. No, oh, he was he was absolutely amazing. Uh, and didn't he had a decent acting career? Yeah, yeah. Um, but the thing he liked doing the most was singing. I mean, he he the, the, when he got into his, you know, you'd think of Frank Sinatra, the big player, right? Whenever he would get into a studio. It was an entirely different story, all right? It was like he was serious, he was working hard, he would do any number of takes it took to get the right take, uh, and he was usually ready to go. Sometimes his voice was shot because he'd been out drinking or smoking or, or even doing a gig, so he wouldn't come in and record. But when he was in a recording session, that was where he loved to be. And that's why his recordings, many of them, are just so damn good, you know. Uh, and uh, here I go, I'm talking about Sinatra again. I can't stop <laughs> talking about. You say Mort Saul loves Sinatra, huh? <laughs> and he died next to Dana Carvey in the, at Cedars. <laughs> yeah, he, he was. The other story. Well, no, no, Dana Carvey didn't die. Okay. Dana Carvey. Dana lived. Frank Dana died. Dana had a bad thing where he almost died, but he was in the hotel room, the hotel room, hospital room next to Frank Sinatra, and, right? And Frank died, so nobody right. cared that he, Dana was in the hospital. <laughs> were, Dana was Dana was getting his botched work repaired at Cedars, and then Frank was in there, and Frank, Dana just said one night there was a huge commotion, people running in the hall, and he found out that Frank had just died. Wow. That, yeah, well, you know, but but so Mort Saul's a big Sinatra fan. You should arrange Loves for me. To, him, uh, you should arrange Saul for me. Saul told me that Sinatra. He said he he actually didn't like to. He said he'd like to get the show over. He really liked hanging out with his friends. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, you should get me together with Saul so I can talk to him about Sinatra. <laughs> you know. Uh, oh, that'd be a, yeah. I could do that. See if, if you he, want. see if he'd like to talk to me sometime. You know. Definitely, uh, yeah. Did I ever interview Mort Sala? I no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think so. you were supposed to, and it fell through or something. But he's we better do it soon. He's ninety-two. Yeah, we'll go get him fast. Okay, all right. <laughs> get him today. You know, and by the way, people around me are dying. And and let me let me. Um, I said this to Pearl yesterday, but I'll say it to you now, because you may remember. Do uh, you remember my lawyer, Fred Reamer? Yeah. He died. No. Oh. Last weekend. Heart attack in his apartment, alone. Didn't find him for two days. So. How old was he? I have no idea. I think maybe Reamer was pushing late 60s, somewhere around there. But, uh, you know, right. in, in a week and a half, I had two people who I was really infinitely associated with uh, a guy by the name of John Rockwell here in New York he used to call our show a lot and uh, Fred Reamer all die in one in about a week and a half this is getting very depressing yeah you know and then I have my friend Jack Garfine the movie the far the movie director and Broadway director uh, who's 88 who's been in the hospital for the last uh, couple of weeks although he looks like he's getting out but God, I'm seeing all these people around me die, and that's only because I've lived this long. You know, it's it's <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very sad. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Well, hey, listen, uh, let me see here. I, I'm like having my glasses on, so I can't see how much time we have left. Oh, we have at least a, a minute and ten seconds left to keep talking. 
Uh, I can give you another Sinatra story. Yeah, quickly. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Up at uh, at Harrah's, I met the stage manager who did all the shows there, and uh, this guy, he said Nancy Sinatra was playing there one night, and this was before wireless mics. So his job was to be, he's behind the curtain, but he would take the slack, as she moved around the stage, he would take the slack out of the microphone cord. Okay? Right. So uh, at one point during the middle of the show, somebody behind him stepped in the cord and the microphone snapped out of her hand and he didn't see who it was so he just took his elbow and jammed it back and hit the guy in the knee (laughs) then he turned around and it was frank (laughs) (laughs) and frank just said don't tell her it was me (laughs) (laughs) so the guy said he almost had a heart attack well ladies and gentlemen another time well spent with larry bubbles brown Hey, Larry, thanks, and we'll talk to you next Thank week. You. I'll, I'll tend to my mold, and we'll try to stay alive. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And there's Larry Bubbles Brown. I love the guy, okay? I love him. I love him, I love him, I love him. Yeah, you can't love him more than I love him, Okay. <clears throat> Still got a little bit of a frog in my throat, but it's getting better. I was listening to myself doing that interview with uh, Larry, and boy, uh, that really was, uh, my voice uh, sounds uh, terrific. <laughs> anyway, let me open up the Skype line here. There it is. It is now officially open, and I'm waiting for your calls. And um, as we do so, we will fill up the squares here on our, uh, on our playing board. Anyway, I mean coffee again tonight. You know, I got to stop doing coffee because then I go to sleep and I can't go to sleep. And then I take a uh, Xanax to put me to sleep. And then I wake up and all day long I can't remember who the fuck I am. Uh, another one of those days. By the way, the lines are open. Another one of those days in which I um, uh, had to put up with uh, uh, all kinds of, as we call it in the Jewish religion, surahs. Uh, uh, technically, uh, from uh, my, let's see, my supplier up in uh, Canada who supplies uh, the, uh, the stuff that, uh, I put all my, what we call our XML files up there. Those are the ones that show up on the on-demand thing. And I, there was no way I could get over there, but finally I did. So we're, we're okay. Let me see here. Uh, Phil is calling us. Let me just uh, uh, get him into our... Uh, um, are you there, Phil? Yeah. Yes, I am. He is there, and let me just uh, find a space for you. I think we got room for you, Phil. Uh, uh, I, yeah. I would imagine. Yeah, and uh, uh, there it is, right there. And uh, you see, there he is, first person on tonight. Now I'm going to be thinking of Jose Feliciano. Come on, baby, light my fire, you know. Uh, <laughs> but he didn't do light my fire. Sure he did. He did a version of light my fire. But it was originally done by the Doors. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah, but I'm thinking of Jose Feliciano. Yeah, Jose Feliciano. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's he uh, after yeah, yeah, his yeah. career stopped, he became a carpet inspector. He became a carpet inspector. Uh, yeah, yeah, they like, only hire the boys. That sounds like a euphemism for something. I don't know what, yeah, but no, let me no, uh, let me put no, the. the let me Josh. put uh, Josh uh, Wheeler in here. Okay, here we go with Josh uh, there. And uh, uh, Charlie Wallace is calling. So before I put the, jo- uh, the picture of uh, the two of them up here, let me uh, uh, double click here and go. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, hey. you, got, you got some audio, Charlie, happening. I don't want to have to mute you. You know, What's happening? I, I don't want to have to mute you. There was some noise there, but now there isn't. Anyway, here we go. There's our. There's three people already. We had a. Um, we had a, a full house last night, Phil. In case you don't know, uh, I saw eight. Uh, uh, I was watching on uh, YouTube. Uh, yeah, and uh, eight is now the new full house. No, no, no it was nine. Oh, it was, oh, that's right. Eight plus you is nine, right? Yeah. So nine is the new full house. Yeah, nine. It was, it was the full house is has it used all, to be ten. No, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Yeah. I believe in that configuration, 
uh, which was the 12 configuration. There are four on the top line, four on the bottom line, and then yeah. there is a ninth. And I am the tenth. So there were ten people when we were a royal fl- okay, we were a full so that's house last night. The way you're doing a full house, I thought the, the full house was going to be eight plus one. No, no, right. I, I went nine plus one. I went to the way it should be. The, the way it was. The way it should be. <laughs> yeah. The way it was. Whatever. Who the cares? Way were. Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? Anyway, uh, how are you guys doing tonight? How, Phil? What did you do on your night off? Where were you? Uh, I was at uh, my photo club thing, and I took best of show. Yeah, well, you see, but you're a bully. No, no, no. This is against everybody. This is uh, when it's best of show. Yes, I won. Uh, I'm now an intermediate. But at the end of the exhibition or at the end of the judging, they judge all prints from masters down to basic. And only one person gets and, best and of what, show, what and pic- I did. And what picture won? Uh, two pictures. I, I got best of show on um, monoral, uh, uh, or, or not monoral, I mean uh, black and white, and I got uh, best of show in a color. So uh, it was a shark picture, mm-hmm. uh, the, the guy pushing the tiger shark's mouth open, mm-hmm. uh, and that one in color, well, no, black and white, and then... Uh, I had a uh, MMA match shot, a championship uh, shot where the guy gave up, and that was uh, uh, in in color. In both of those, I got best of show. Let me ask you a question. When you're shooting, how fast do you shoot? Do you just start, push the button, and let it just keep going, 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 no. going, going? You know? No, I, I rarely shoot in, uh, or do you in sh- rapid. Or do you wait till you see a frame? Uh, see, because I wait till because I if you frame. do it in rapid, you're bound to get something good. <laughs> but it, it's too yeah. hard to edit. You know, my uh, thing will do 11 frames a second. Yeah. So, uh, you know, all of a sudden, if you've got 5,000 shots, uh, how are you going to edit those? I mean, I, I would get so bored by the yeah. time I got to the I, 300. I'm just saying, why don't you let somebody else win? Virginia? Well, hey, th- this is fair and square. I was up against the Masters and all of these other guys, and some of these things were great. And, and who votes on this? Uh, we have professional judge, a professional that we pay judge, yeah. That is a that is a N4C trained judge. This is the 14 Northern California clubs, yeah. And uh, we pay them to come and and judge the uh, judge the photos. Mm-hmm. And so we have two judgings a month, yeah. And we have different judges each time. Oh, okay, all right, okay, that's cool. Well, uh, congratulations, Phil. Well, thank you. It was my and, first and, best of show. And what do you win? Do you get anything? You get money? I get bragging rights. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, actually, it'll be in a newspaper. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the place where uh, I go for this club has, has an actual newspaper uh, that goes to the, I don't know, seven, ten thousand 10,000 residents that live in this complex. Uh, <clears throat> there's 2,000 homes, I think, maybe a little more. And uh, it's a retirement community. I see. Golf, oh, oh thanks, I yeah. see. Okay, so you're, you're down to retirement communities now. Well, they, they have a the bunch club. of old people who can barely lift their cameras, let alone right. shoot with them. Well, uh, there's one guy that goes uh, and hires guides to take him yeah. to uh, different locations, mm-hmm. and he'll go to Thailand and all sorts of other places. And that guy I beat last night. So, uh, you, you, know. you just love seeing you're a bully. See, look at you. Yeah. Look at you. I beat him. Look, I beat him. I beat him. I beat Although him. Although it was my turn to supply the food. So I bought uh, uh, bagels, lox, cream cheese, uh, really good coffee because they only have instant. <laughs> and uh, hmm. so, uh, well, uh, I, um, um, uh, by the way, um, Jeff Stein uh, last night. What, what happens with this new system is if somebody hangs up, they just freeze. So I don't know whether they're gone or not until I realize they haven't moved in the last two minutes, right? And he said he left because he couldn't figure out how to turn his, his microphone on or something and that the new Skype and the new system is bothering him. And I, I wrote him and I said, you've been using the new Skype all along. Yeah. This is no different. All that's different is what I'm doing on my end to get the pictures on the right. on the show, which everybody, by the way, has been writing and complimenting me about. And oh, I think it. they're fabulous. 
uh, the, the new look is 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 great yeah. and uh you know i'm i'm glad that uh, you finally overcame the fear of uh well you had to well there was not overcoming the fear eight. of skype i think skype came over the it got over the fear of me i think they did some changes because yeah. for the longest time i couldn't figure out how to bring somebody into a citizen panel. And now it's really <laughs> simple. In fact, any of you who want to call, it's just GabNet Live is the address. In fact, I should probably put it down here on the screen. GabNet yeah. Live is the address. Uh, yeah. And uh, you just simply use your Skype and call GabNet Live. Oh, or uh, uh, when all you liberals call GabNet Live, who was the genius that invented that name? What? Oh, GabNet, GabNet Live. Live. It was you. Okay. More, more, <laughs> more bragging rights. Right. Yeah. That's all I got. Anyway, got. I don't have a prostate. Yeah, because before I had, what did I have? I like Great American Broadcast, I think, and had yeah. to type that in. But Gabnet, and somebody had Gabnet. That was the problem. Right. So Gabnet cool. Live became what we did. But anyway, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, Phil thought it up. Phil. I can't. So, you know what I also like about it is the new position that I've got this camera, it's really close to me, so I can do mugging into hmm. the camera, you know, smirk when you're talking, you know, things like that. So, uh, But uh, um, the um, uh, so anyway, so so Jeff, don't worry about it. Just call us. And if you're having problems, we'll tell you how to take care of it. But you shouldn't have any problem. You just call us and I answer. And that goes for anybody. I mean, you can go over to uh, gabnet.net and there's a little button there, a little, not a button, but a thing that says click here to, you know, automatically connect. And it will automatically connect you to the program. And I don't think there's any more of that thing where you've got to be uh, on my uh, friends list okay. or anything yeah. like that. But, but uh, that it just, you just come right on. That's all. Just give us a call and, you know, I'll bring you right in. So uh, give it a try, some of you. We, we want new blood, see, because we got old blood up there, right there. See? <laughs> oh, I, I, I mean, point, I, point at him. Skype. There, there uh, he is. Oh, that's there. right, but I'm, I came on first, so I'm in the top corner. Yeah, you're in the top corner. That's why you're doing it now. You want to be in that top corner. Everybody wants to be in the top, top corner. Oh, yeah. You get bragging rights when you're in the top corner. But I could move, <laughs> I could move you into another corner, though. Well, yeah, you well, know, if you're not good, you try, you try to do that every time we talk about Trump. If you're not good, I I could put you in like the bottom, you know, or or even off on the edge of the screen or something like yeah. that, you know. Yeah, but I had but, best to show. Um, I have a lot more control over this than I used to. I can even mute you. Yeah, but I know the I know the workaround. Yeah, you simply unmute yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you don't know, want to give that up. It's funny when somebody is muted, you they you can actually see they've muted themselves. It mm -hmm. shows up on the screen. So, yeah. you, so well, there are a few things about this new Skype I like. I I'll tell you why I don't know whether I like the new Skype or don't like the new Skype because I don't really use the new Skype. Uh, the Skype is what's bringing all these pictures in, but once they're here, I'm, these are the way I've arranged them. Everything is all my own device, and this isn't the way it looks on a Skype screen. You know, so yeah. anyway, um, how are you doing tonight, Charlie? You know, last night, I, by the way, before I, I, how are you doing tonight, Charlie? And then I'll say what I had <laughs> to good. say. Yeah. Uh, last night I was saying that uh, it was amazing how many people like we had, to, you know, fill with a uh, pro, uh, missing, missing a prostate and, uh, uh, you know, Jeff with his heart, his pacemaker thing and, uh, uh, uh uh, Kevin with his, uh, you know, back, back doodad, Leg. and 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 I was talking about everybody who had something wrong with them, and I forgot about you, the the tallest chimp. That's me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, you uh, you lost some toes to um, what diabetes. Di diabetes. Yeah. Now, how, uh, if they were fingers, it would be like a mafia thing. You just say, hey, you know, the reason there's no pinky here. Yeah, I didn't is, pay the uh, debt. <clears throat> No, but let me ask you about that. So uh, what did they do to make sure you didn't lose any more toes? Is there some kind of medicine or something they give you, or why didn't they give it to you then? Actually, they haven't done anything more. I mean, uh, I'm on the same medication I was on when I was losing the toes. Really? So, yeah. I think I was doing something to injure my toes, and then they've been infected. 
Oh, I see. Okay. And because now of the... that I'm not umpiring on the field, I don't think oh. I'm as likely to injure my feet and run into that problem anymore. I see. I see. So because of the diabetes, your feet were subject to uh, infection yeah. a lot more easily. Yeah. Yeah. Because they don't get the blood flow and, uh, you know, diabetics, we don't heal uh, yeah. as, as well. Well, as, listen to uh, him. It's like it's, a, it's like it's a club. You know, we, <laughs> terrible club. It gets bigger every day. Forty million of us now. Yeah. So anyway, Jeff, yeah, and, it, and you wonder why they don't want uh, single payer health care. Yeah, <laughs> Jeff, if you're listening, <laughs> us. if you're listening, give us a call, okay? Uh, and uh, we also would like more callers because we have lots of room now. Uh, yeah. And so yesterday we got up to that one screen where I could go full house. Yeah, but I yeah, don't have I, I, I don't that. I don't have the royal flush, and then there is something that happens if we hit twelve. Right, it's that's a surprise. It, it's a surprise. What? Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm waiting for. Is so when we hit twelve. Everybody is, should start. Is it the calling. one that I recommended? Yes. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, I'm thinking of putting a sound effect in here for it too. You I, know. That would be good. <laughs> you know, uh, but uh, we'll you'll you'll all get to see that if the day ever comes. We we've I don't I can't remember when we we have hit 12 yeah but i can't remember we hit when. 13 once huh we hit 13 once did we hit th 13 really yeah. oh. one one show or two shows or one show well good uh but you know i wouldn't uh, mind uh uh hitting uh uh you know uh i wouldn't mind hitting uh uh 13 but i don't know what we'd do with them Hopefully, one of those people will be on a phone, so we wouldn't have to put them up on the screen. But uh, well, if you know. have twelve small plus yourself, that's thirteen. Well, that's thirteen. Yeah, and that would fit on that screen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a we have a thirteen screen. Uh, this is the, the screen where there would be twelve people. Uh, if if you see if we put them in there. Uh, and there it says full house, but that's not, this wouldn't be a full house. This would be that other thing, but that's only because mm -hmm. I've got this thing. Surprise. Huh? The surprise. The surprise. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, let me go back to this. Okay. So we don't, I'm, I've, I had a lot of fun putting that shit together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it really worked. Now it. you said you couldn't do a GIF or a, or a video, uh, to, uh, no, I didn't want to do a video. Uh, uh -huh. And the reason I didn't want to do a a, a, a video uh, was that I didn't I don't you know I for instance I can put a video in here of my Gabnet logo and things like that but it's just too busy you know and I don't need it to be that busy so I haven't done that but I'm getting used to this so if more people call I can uh, put you in here but when Phil's on nobody wants to call. Do you know last night we also had more people listening to us than we've had in a long long time? Hey, no problem. See ya. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they all went uh, How are we doing tonight? Let me take a look. I I listened to the show. It was kind of like watching paint dry. So, yeah, okay. Wait, what do you mean it was kind of <laughs> like watching paint dry? What is that all about? Well, you know, you guy how do you how do you say Boring. Well, I think I think that the new way of presenting it here is getting us a lot more people because we have. Oh, I of, do too. We have it, a lot more people now than we usually have. You know. Yeah. So I don't know. It's uh, uh, I. The look of it is yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Uh, you know, you would think that if you could copyright it, you could sell it to the uh, news media because when they try to put people up, that would be a great look. You know, well, no, but they they have their own equipment. They yeah, have yeah, very they just split screen. Yeah, they, they they put people across the screen, and you know, they every one of these shows has at least three uh, uh, pundits, pundits. You know, yeah. and uh, boy, am I getting bored with all of that? That's just yeah. that's just getting terrible. You know, uh, I mean, I am so sick of um, of. Uh, uh, MSNBC, I can't, I can't tell you how sick I'm getting of it. I mean, it doesn't mean I like Fox, and it doesn't mean I'm going to watch Newsmax, but <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, it's just. Am I, am I right, Josh? Are they getting a little boring? You know. Yeah, I don't, I don't watch it in the evenings. I only watch it in the morning. Yeah. I mean, I, I flip through in the evenings occasionally, but it, it's, it's not really. 
Uh, it's not really what I want to hear. Well, I put it on during the day, and it's the same old crap, you know. Yeah. Whatever, yeah. whatever the the belly aching of the day is, that's what they're belly aching about. And yeah. then, I mean, it, I I think it's okay in the morning. It's it's not bad, you know, in the morning time. Um, but after that, it you know, it, like you say, it's a little boring. And uh, at night, you know, I I don't care for it. I mean, the Rachel Maddow really gets on my nerves. I mean, it's just like it's just like this hour of condescension and lecture, and it's just like like she's the only one in the world who's discovered, you know, that Trump is an idiot, and she's here to tell you all about it and save you. And it's like I don't like the guy any more than you do, you know. But I'm fair, you know. I mean, let's not turn everything into, you know. I mean, that's what Fox did for a couple of years. It's like let's not let's not do that, you know. Yeah, it drives me nuts. Yeah, well, that but that's what's happening, you know. And you're right. I mean, I she, I can't even watch Rachel Maddow. She's so condescending. Right. And by the way, folks, we're very much liberal here. Some of us very much to the left, and we're yeah. saying this. And if we're saying this, MSNBC, yeah. get the message. You know, you're losing the, your core audience because you're, you know. Uh, the only people that would want to listen to MSNBC are people who would want their opinions validated mm -hmm. you know and but that, but there must be a fair amount because it seems like i i've read on multiple occasions the last few months that her viewership is as high as it's ever been and it's yeah. it's it's been the number one slot yeah um yeah many many times in the last few months and who, who's she up against is she up against sean hannity uh, i think i believe I, so yeah so i think uh, that she's been beating him you know, on a regular. Uh, I, yeah, I like, don't. I don't think she, Josh. She was beating him I, on a I, fake deal. I don't think she. Be, I don't think she beats him all the time. No, okay, no, I, right. But Alex. By the way, there's a there's Jeff Stein. Can you hear us, Jeff? Yeah, I can hear you. And now. we can hear you. I I, yeah, I don't know. It what, works. What problem? Don't mute yourself. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just pay attention to your Skype, and if you uh, if you do want to see somebody who's talking who's not in there. Uh, you can always take them and drag them down into the picture. Just don't, I say to everybody, don't touch anything else because, you know. Mm. Don't, don't touch me there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know, I, I think the deal with Rachel Maddow and her previous high ratings yeah. were based on she was teasing people with this, uh, the what's going to happen to Trump. And people wanted to hear, oh, well, Trump, he's he's going to go to jail. He's going to this. He's going to that. And, yeah. you know, once the Mueller report comes out, it's going to validate. And she was pushing that scenario when it turned out that that wasn't what happened. Well, uh, it could her be, ratings went down. Well, it could be that's what happened. But we don't know yet. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's come out. Oh, yeah. It's, just, just keep hoping. No, it's come out today that uh, some yeah. of the people on the Mueller team are very upset with what one Bill person. Barr did. No, not one person, a bunch of them. Yeah. It, it was listed as a bunch of them. Uh, and that they are bothered by Mueller's complete disregard to the work they did about uh, the um, obstruction of justice part of it. The fact that they couldn't come to a decision, okay, does not mean they did not have a lot of uh, empirical evidence that maybe there was such a situation. And that's why everybody wants to see the full Mueller report so they can determine. You know, it's like, it's like Nancy Pelosi said, hey, Bill Barr, you know, we're not children. You know, yes, you, don't, they are. you don't have to tell us what we're, what we're supposed to think. They're not only children, they're untrustworthy children. Uh, uh, you always uh, have to put a little barb in there, don't you? No, it's the truth. You yeah, know, uh, uh, you don't think that the Dems exactly. are going to leak the first thing that they can get a hold of. Uh, if they think that there's a way that they can screw Trump, they're going to immediately leak it. Uh, you know, you I, can't uh, trust they, 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 they supposedly, most of the time, the Congress has been very good with this kind of stuff. Because like in yeah. the Clinton case, they got... Um, uh, a whole bunch, they got the whole thing unredacted. And they never, there were parts of it they said, let's not release this, let's not make this public. And they've kept it that way. It's remained in the vaults and, un, uh, you know, the, even with the redacted stuff. So, uh, you know, it, it's kind of, I don't think that they necessarily would do that. 
I think that they would like to see the stuff about obstruction of justice and what the what the what the chart what they think might have caused that, but we'll never know because Bill Barr immediately said, "Hey, don't worry, children. You know, you don't." I be, I, I believe that they also probably found obstruction on the Democrat side and collusion on the Democrat side. Uh, 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 why? why? Over like uh, what? Like what? The, the FISA warrants over the what, um, what FISA warrants. The FISA warrants that were created to uh, four renew three renewals and the original warrant, uh, so that they could uh, uh, tap uh, phones and uh, so forth on Trump's camp. Uh, uh, Do you know they uh, also they also tapped uh, Hillary's as well? Uh, maybe yes, and uh, they, you know why they were doing that? Because of the uh, uh, no. the email investigation no, for their safety. Uh, well. It was them. Uh, it was them watching out for the candidates. Well, it was the FISA warrants that allowed them to uh, to start this uh, Russian collusion investigation, and it was and the warrants were based on the dossier, which turns out to be phony. Boy, even said and, and even, it was paid even, for even, by the DNC. Even, yeah, Hillary yeah, Clinton. It was started by Republicans. They it was paid for the by the DNC. Wait a minute, we listened to Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. Hey, just because something gets started doesn't necessarily mean, uh, you know, uh, the Republicans did not want Trump to win. The Republicans would rather have had Hillary win because she is uh, representative of their style, their uh, their desire to continue to feed at the trough because mm -hmm. they're all a bunch of crooks. Oh, Jesus. Here we go again. And, uh, and uh, Trump some, called these guys out. Oh, you, you oh yeah. Had, brave you Trump. Republican brave Trump. Republican after Republican. That hated Trump. You know something. And the only reason you know something. Mm -hmm. This guy caved so much he should be spel spelunking through Washington. He's been caving like crazy. Caved again today. No, well, you mean on the uh, shutting down the border thing? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to shut down the border. That was his first thing. I'm going to shut it down. We're going to shut down the border. Well. I'm going to wait a year now before I shut down the border. Well, no, he's he's negotiating. Uh, yeah, you know, the first thing you do, fucking he, he goes in from a position of absolute destruction, and then he negotiates. Yeah, that's, the, yeah, that's, that's a, very presidential, Phil. Well, hey, the presidential things didn't work. We got, uh, you know, uh, thousands of people a day on the border. We're, we're, they're being overrun. Oh, I and, see. I, I see. Uh, and, and are they running? I see them just crawling over the over the border, just yeah. rushing in here. Hey, and just you're so inundating. worried about kids getting separated from their families and things like that. Well, I don't think and, it's you know, nice. Well, <laughs> if you don't want that to happen then uh, you don't uh, let people just uh, come in in droves. Yeah, what do you think, uh, Jeff? It's pretty lousy the way they're uh, handling of children. Yeah. That's yeah. terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's horrible. It's, it, it, you know, it's not very oh. nice. No. And well, they're now, not separating the families now. And now, and now the, 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 the kids were so young, the kids don't even know their last name yet. And you say, well, what's your parents' name? Mommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Daddy. Well, you know, I mean, it, oh, it, what, what, what I it is. I can't it, exactly it, identify who your family really is. It's playing into xenophobia, you know. Yeah, and, it's Jose or Hose B. Yeah, I mean, uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> Phil, God damn you. Yeah, <laughs> fucking asshole. Uh, uh, by the way, we could use, see, here's what happens when I came up with this new idea of how to do this. Well, it's not a new idea. It was the I, way I had to do it is that I now have two spaces there for two people. And is anybody going to fill it up? You know, and I hate to use the word fill it up, but well, anybody want to I told fill you what to do. No, I'm not going to put you in both of them now. <laughs> I can I can easily do that. Did folks. that one? Yeah, you know, you remember, you know, you go to the circus or something, got a chair, and you throw the bean bag at the thing, and the guy gets dunked into the uh, in, into the tank. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, the same thing. If you can have a swoosh. You see, this sound, this will make you nauseous, it, folks. If I do that, see. Yeah. So let's let's fill up the other squares. Give us a call, okay? All right, fine. 
Uh, well, uh, the good news is Jeff Bezos is still, even after his divorce, isn't the that amazing? Man in the world. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> he uh, he uh, he's giving his wife thirty five. Oh, I forgot to turn my little, little light on How's in the she, back. Thirty five million. How is 35, she going to uh, thirty five million dollars? Uh, and how's she going to pay the bills? Huh? How's she going to pay the bills? I don't know. I mean, God, it's going to be a hand to mouth for her. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, thir thir uh, let's see, thirty-five billion dollars, and I'm. And uh, she went. Is, okay. is it billion or million? Yeah, it's billion, billion, billion. She yeah. went. Okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, she wasn't. <laughs> she billion? wasn't fighting. I mean, she could have yeah. held out for half the half the money, which uh, he has a total of. Are you ready for this? I mean, yeah. you want to talk about the richest man on the planet by a mile. Hundred and thirty seven billion dollars is how much he's worth. So he's wow. still got a hundred and two billion dollars left. And he's still the richest man on the on the planet. On I the think. planet, yeah. You know. But he was very happy to do that. I mean his wife was, you know, she she was part of the uh, part of the, the just the whole thing, you know. It wasn't like yeah, she was but did just, you see who he's dating? It was, she had nothing to do with this though. I know, but she was hot. Her brother did. Well, I thought I think his brother. I think his wife was attractive and probably pretty hot when he was younger, but yeah. now he's getting older. He's going through a midlife crisis, and he wants that expensive pussy. Well, I, you know, have you looked at Jeff Bezos? Do you think if he didn't have a hundred and forty-seven billion or whatever it is that he would even get a date? You know, I mean, well, uh, there's something to be said for money. Yeah. You know, I mean, Trump got laid. Look at him. Look what a what a fucking ogre he is. Well, in know. his day, the know, last time the last time I saw somebody that looked like Donald Trump, they were standing under under a bridge waiting for somebody to come by. You know. Yeah, but uh, he took advantage of women that didn't speak English. Yeah, he did. He, he actually all uh, at least uh, two of his wives were were were, were uh, illegal aliens. Well, the one from Georgia. She didn't speak English either, oh. but she didn't have to. Marla okay. Maples, that's it. Marla Maples, yeah. Well, she was. She was. I, li I like Marla. She I was think. pretty. She's good. Um, Josh, what do you think about all this? I always, I always defer to you because you're Mister Legal Eagle. Uh, as far as Trump, you mean? Yeah. Or... Well, it's, well, it's always so far as Trump. You know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I do think it's interesting that the story last night was, you know, the New York Times reporting that there were, like you said, multiple members of the, you know, Mueller investigative team that so far are not pleased that more of the report hasn't been put out because they feel like if the full report were to be released, the picture that the public would then see will be far different from the, uh, you know, um, uh, Total, uh, you know, what was the... Um, the bar summation? Yeah, yeah, but I'm trying to think of the uh, the word, you know, they kept using it over and over again, you know, that, you know, Trump was just cleared, you know, I mean, he, uh, you know, and he, and he obviously, I think they feel like that if the public were to see the report, that that's not going to be the conclusion that uh, far more people will come to than have now, and... You know, the, the Congress should see the report um, mm -hmm. and the public. Yeah. And I don't see any reason why, you know, they can't be trusted with the report. I mean, uh, I would be comfortable if at least enough powerful Democrats, uh, you know, members of the opposition, saw the unredacted report, you know, such as the members of the Intelligence Committee, mm -hmm. et cetera, oversight. If enough of them saw the report unredacted, I would at least feel comfortable because now members of the opposition and they could go out to the cameras and say, okay, you know, there is some stuff in there the public can't know because it threatens national security, whatever, but here's here's what we found. And, I mean, they, they can be trusted with it. I mean, look, it was what, maybe four or five years ago that 60 Minutes did that report that the the Congress, you know, in the vault that you mentioned earlier, and that's literally what it is, yeah. still has the completely unredacted copy of the 9-11 report mm -hmm. that has, like, the, the two or three pages that are missing from the public report. Right. And it's pretty clear that those two or three pages basically say that the Saudi government funded part of the 9-11 attack operation 
but no one can actually say that because it's classified. But there are members who are allowed to go into the vault, read the unredacted report. They can't take pictures. They can't take it out. They can't go out and tell anyone what they read. They can read it with their own eyes and then not talk about it. And they, if you read between the lines, that's basically what they're, they're telling you is that, well, I can't tell you that the Saudis paid for it, but the Saudis paid for it. You know, so, I mean, these kinds of informations can be left to the highest they, ranking members of the government, but there's no ever, reason why they can't. Did they ever release the Warren Commission report on yes. Kennedy? Yes, they did. Was it supposed to be 50 what? years? Or is it 100 years? Well, uh, th th maybe some of the classified... I think the classified documents. parts of it were uh, to be limited to uh, the uh, lifetime of the Kennedy family. Of, of, yeah, they, of, they, of, they, of uh, you know, I think since Caroline's still alive, they can't, they yeah. can't release They've that They've been part trickling that stuff out, you know, in dribs and drabs, if you will. Every five or six years, they get... You know, we get 50 more pages or whatever, and then everyone who wrote a book can go back and yeah. update their book and release a new uh, version and make some more money. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. No. Yeah. So, I mean... But, uh, I mean, there's no reason so, that that stuff so can't Phil, be... So, what, what Phil, what do you have to say? What do you have to say about that, Phil? Uh, what? That some of it's... Well, uh, I think that the... Uh, the politicians were a little more trustworthy, maybe, in, in those years. Mm -hmm. And that uh, what we have right now is mm -hmm. uh, Trump derangement syndrome, and they will do anything, say anything. Look, look, look what they did. Mm -hmm. The Senate did uh, on the Kavanaugh hearings. They marched out people. Wait a uh, Hold on a second. Uh, yeah, are you there, like Avenatti? Are, are you there? Uh, um, um... I guess I, uh, what's his name was, is there anybody else Tony? on there? Oh, there's Tony. Why isn't Tony yeah. showing up here? Tony, Tony, see, I know he's like scuba something, or not scuba something. No, I'm something. scuba something. I know you're scuba something. Uh, wait a minute, hold on a second. Let me just, uh, let me see. Oh, five, six, four, five, no. He it hasn't shown up here on this, uh. There we go. Now I got more names. There we go. He all of a sudden he showed up. Okay, so I can uh, I can. So you only have one space left on this uh, thing. Now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Well, yeah. but but for all this talk of you know the trustworthiness of the lawmakers and the the Trump derangement syndrome, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, I understand where Phil's coming from, but it can't be lost so that the last party to impeach a president for exactly the same exact things was the Republican Party. I mean, Gosh. who impeached a sitting president for more or less the exact same charges right. that people were decrying Trump facing, you know, at, at this time. Josh, didn't I the mean, laws change because of that? And that's why Barr uh, can't release certain information that uh has no, to do i don't with believe that's the case trials. at all uh, 90 uh, i mean the the full re clinton impeachment proceedings were, were open to the public including grand jury material etc cetera, etc cetera. i mean nothing to my knowledge was hidden from the public in in, in the clinton correct. proceedings you but, know the, but because the, of the, that and the salacious uh, uh, uh material that was released I believe that the Congress didn't want this to happen again and that they passed new laws that restrict uh, Barr from uh, putting out a lot of the information that's in this report. Just because it was done under Clinton uh, investigation doesn't necessarily mean they can do it today if the laws change. There is no but law you don't know that for sure, do you, that Phil? has been changed to yeah, reflect that, no, you don't. that argument. No, you don't what, know that for sure. Whatsoever that I'm aware of. And I have heard dozens and dozens of people uh, from both parties as a matter of fact that work for both parties who have said if this information wants to be put out by you know the leadership it, it can be done that uh simply a court order to release grand jury material etc cetera, etc cetera, can easily be had i mean it, yeah. it's it's not uh, there's one of there's, there's no law to prevent yeah. this from happening there's one of the there's thing one of the, happening right now is, is political yeah. operation there's one other legal. thing well there's one other thing here phil what but people are griping about is that um uh, it was simply Barr's determination that based upon what he saw he didn't see that you could you could uh, charge the president with anything well he is the that guy is. who also wrote in his uh, 
in his yeah. uh, um, what could we call it? His resume for the president that he didn't he believe a president that. could be uh, charged okay, with. Okay, but wait, he wait, was let me confirmed. finish. Let me finish uh, with obstruction of justice, and right. uh, he he is simply making that determination based on his own personal beliefs, not on the evidence that was presented to him. When he was confirmed, it, that was known that that was his position, uh, and also. Uh, Barr is the attorney general, and it's his job to. Well, I don't. But and so he doesn't have to. Law, so he. You, you so he does, don't know. So he doesn't have to answer to anybody. Uh, in this case, uh, he doesn't have he, to. Uh, oh, you mean he just has? He he's uh, the chief lawmaker, no, this, this, and he can just yeah. go unquestioned. It's up to him to decide to uh, to, to proceed further. And it, now, and somewhere along the line, because there are checks and balances, some people could question that determination. It is, you well, know, it's they not. They can, but based on the and let's face it, that he's that Trump's boy. Them. He's Trump's boy. You know, they said he's that Trump's the boy. This... Phil, answer me. Is he Trump's boy? No, he's a, uh, he's oh. the attorney general. Uh, uh, he oh, was I appointed see. by oh. Trump, oh. but I don't think he's anybody's boy. Phil and. That's Come a racist term. Come on. Well, yeah. uh, but I mean, Politics. listen. Nobody's I mean, uh, <laughs> a true, a, a true Republican, and, and really an American, would believe that all power, you know, uh, does and always has and always will derive from the people. You know, I mm -hmm. mean, I don't know a Republican who would deny that. L look, if the people want to see this information bad enough, um, you know, they have a right to. There's no law to prevent them from doing it, and. All power of the government derives from the people. If they want to see it bad enough, and they cry loud enough, you know, we'll get to see it. And that's that's what's happening right you now. I mean, it's still get sorting it, itself Josh? out. I mean, you know how they get to see it? They vote Trump out. They get a guy in that says, "Okay, here you can see it." But right now, Trump's the president, and that's the if deal. If that's what happens, that's fine. My problem with, with would you be saying, "Wait a minute, wait, and, and, yeah, yeah?" And, and yeah. I got to be honest. At, at times, you're one of them. Is I want people to call things. And, and say things fairly. And I've had a problem with things that have happened with members of my own party in the past, and I have said that. I Because I, I, I'm not beholden to a political party or a philosophy. I'm beholden to, you know, this this union, not, not this party or that party. And if some of these actions were taking place, and, and the individual in the White House was not named Donald Trump and was simply named Barack Obama, and those are the only two words of this entire situation that we changed, you would have a problem with it. Yes, you and would, many Phil. people in your party would have a Barack problem with Obama it, and that is the cold hard thing. fact. No, 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 but you would have a problem if this same thing happened Obama was president. And you wouldn't Nothing be saying, happened. and you wouldn't be That's saying about Obama, well, Nothing he's the president happened. and, you know, what? Nothing, there was no collusion. Nothing happened. You're I'm not even talking its about. Straws. I'm not even talking about the underlying, uh, uh, you know, um, wait, wait, allegations. Wait, 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 you know, you can. Keep wait, about wait a minute, Char Charlie has his in the last. Wait a minute, you know, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Char Charlie. Charlie Trump has his. Change his underwear one day. Charlie. Yeah, better prosecute him. Charlie you know? has his hand you up. Should change him. They're probably dirty. Yeah. If nothing Please happened, happened with that guy. why did all these people <laughs> lie? And are now in jail or going to jail. You what know, the, Charlie, lie, you know how those lies, happened. those lies are. The guy said, "Well, I, I wasn't there that day," and then it turns out that he was there well, that day, or, or something. Or there well, was if, fact. If nothing, <laughs> if, if nothing <laughs> happened at all, if nothing happened at all, and there's a 400-page document that says over and over and over again nothing happened at all then i don't understand why anybody would have a problem getting it out and laying it on the table on the and saying there you go nothing every, happened hold it on the top of almost every page of that document it says classified you know and uh, due to ongoing trials and uh, they can't. Yeah, how do you know, Phil? Phil? How do you, how, Phil? How you do you? Wait a minute, hold, on. Phil. Phil, shot. shut up for a second. Shut up for a second. You shut up, Phil. Story. Shut you up. Shut up for reason. a second, Phil. All right. How do you know it says that on the top of every page? Yeah. I listen to Fox. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how do they know? They and how do they know? They the haven't truth. seen it. Nobody's seen it. So how does anybody know? And what we want to know is what we should need to know. Kennedy knows. <laughs> well, that, that, that didn't seem to apply some months back when they released 
grand jury material, et cetera, et cetera, in relation to, you know, uh, a lot of the Clinton investigation and some of the classified investigations that were going on for members of the Mueller team, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, I seem to remember about six months ago, the Republican Intelligence Committee releasing a, a huge dump of classified documents that they decided unilaterally to declassify. I mean, I'm just, that's what I'm saying. I, that's I, my I problem with you sometimes, Bill. I don't remember Bill. that. I well, don't remember that. Uh, uh, we can look that up if you want, and I yeah, can read you the stories. I mean, that's my problem with you, Phil, is I sometimes have to question if you're not on here as kind of a put-on, which would be fine because a lot of people would find that entertaining, and it drives conversation. But some of the stuff that you come up with is so far detached from reality and is so hypocritical and, and is so far in line with what I would call a sycophant that at times it makes me sick. Then I mean, maybe... just act like a fucking man sometimes and say, okay, that's so right. You want me to man up? Oh. All right, I'll man up for you. I listen to a number of different news media mm, things, yeah. and I form mm. an opinion. Oh, yeah, I see. And I, but, but, but they're all is, news media that agrees with your opinion, right, Phil? Well, and, and you don't listen to media that I listen. I, I listen to Fox. I listen hey, to MSNBC. Like Everybody's got one. No, but you I know? listen to You're things other that. than places that validate my opinion. Well, I, I I listen to this guy's uh, news, that guy's news, and I come up with a decision as to what I mm. believe. Anybody else want to want to get want, anybody else want to get a piece of this action? It's just GabNet Live, GabNet Live, GabNet Live uh, through <laughs> Skype. Really, I would love to hear other people's opinions on this. Uh, yeah, me too. You know. But uh, all I'm saying is. You're entitled to all that. I, 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 you have to admit that I've been very fair with you over the years, and I've been very fair well, about what I think fairness. is happening. But I'm saying sometimes I think w w when you're having an issue with the facts, you you do what you've been accused of before, which is make a joke or change the topic or whatever. And all I'm saying is if if, if you don't like something that, that Trump has done or – or just call things the way you see it. it a ball is a ball, and a strike is a strike here. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the, saying, the, the you know what, I have with, a problem with this. Okay, you know? but the problem that you're having is I like what Trump is doing. I like it. That's okay. And you're I allowed to, put, to, to and, have and that. And so if you don't like the fact that I like it, I can't help that. Well, I've it never has said that. To do with man and you're up. entitled to that completely, and I have never said otherwise. But I'm saying that there are times that. when... You have defended things that I know have to go against your conscience as a human being and as a Republican, and I've had trouble believing that you truly believe it. And I've had trouble believing that if the same exact circumstance were to happen for a president of a different party, that you would mouth those same words. Now, if you would, and you can honestly tell me that, then we just disagree and, and we can drop it. That's fine. I, I I'm just disagree. saying in my heart of hearts, I, I, I don't believe you. I don't trust uh, that. I'm and, sorry and, you don't no, believe me. Fine. I support Donald Trump. I support what he's doing. I like the uh, what he's doing. I don't like the way he's doing it in, in, in many cases. Mm -hmm. But he's up against news media like Vanity Fair. I mean, Vanity Fair is should have been called Vanity Unfair. Uh, or Huffington Wait a minute, Post. Since when was Vanity Fair considered a major news yeah. organization? The Vanity I Fair comes out magazine. with a ton of articles. No, they right. hold they hold a party at the Academy Awards every year. Come the on, guy, Phil. There, there the is guy the... who owns Vanity Fair hates Trump. Yeah, and and so do we all. Artists. So what's unusual <laughs> about that? I don't. Anybody and, who lives and, in New York you know, hates Donald Trump. You know, if you look at what Trump is doing. Uh, one side says, and it's very divisive out there, and I believe that the division, it was caused by uh, social media Yeah, the Chinese were in there and, uh, yeah. and the Koreans. Bullshit. And the Iranians. Bullshit. <laughs> they were Bullshit. in there feeding misinformation uh -huh. and, and they caused yeah. enough dis uh, yeah. uh, disruption that you've got... Oh, wait a minute, Phil. Divisive. You mean the reason... You guys wait a minute. You mean the reason I'm pissed at Trump is because the Iranians are planting misinformation? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. No. I was because I do check out the Iranian media every day to see what my talking points are. Just I'm like sure you do. Just like you read Mein Kampf to get your talking points. No, nah, I, I, I I read the Israeli news though. Yeah. By the way, hey. Tony, can I say this? 
and I yeah. say this in all honesty, your lens is dirty again. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> what, what do you do to that thing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know how that happens, but it, oh, it yeah, happens. Well, right. well, it's a little bit. Uh, I mean, all, all I'm trying to get at is that I think everyone here just wants to mark some of this down so that mm -hmm. three or four or five years from now, you know, when, when, when the shoe was on the other foot, yeah, yeah. I want to hear the same things come out of your mouth that night that have come out of it in past nights. That, that's, oh. you know, I think that's all anyone is looking yeah. for is some accountability on that. Well, by the way, by I the... feel like I can yeah. do that because there are people who were mad at me two or three years ago because I called up here and said things about Barack Obama that bothered them because, you know, he was their mm. guy. And, I, and I've tried to say before, I don't have a guy, you know, I mean... Uh, I, I have this union, and that's it. I mean, you know, what's good for that and good for me and good for you is fine. Now, sometimes yeah. people disagree on what's good, and that's perfectly normal. And, and matter of fact, I would say healthy. But I, I just think that this country is going to have to move away acting mm -hmm. like politics is, is a fucking sporting event. You know, i got to root for this team because that's my team, and, mm -hmm. you know, I'm okay with them signing the guy who's a, 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 a drunk or – beats mm -hmm. up women because that helps us win i mean if you want to do that with sports it, that's perfectly fine we're talking about grown people who make you know get paid millions yeah. of dollars to play a, a fucking game by the but, way by the way let me just say politics, you yeah. know. let me say uh we have been joined by the guy who did this anyway. five years and still talking this is gabnet the great american broadcast network You've never heard it before. There's Rob Alfano, ladies and gentlemen, who finally we changed it. We changed it, we, you know. <laughs> the, applause, the applause is not for me on that. The applause is for what I've been listening to Josh, and I haven't heard anybody put it so well yes. as to what I have been feeling about this. It is just really hit it on point, Josh. I got to say it. That's exactly what's going on, and that's exactly how I feel. It's, well, it's taking sides yeah. with a man against this country, and and that's the thing. If this were Barack Obama and all of this were happening, it wouldn't be okay. And, and, I, and I should just really quickly say, in all fairness, so that this doesn't sound like it's too personal, mm -hmm. because it's not personal with Phil. Okay, and I, and I want him to know that because Phyllis Welcome here, and I like him, and I would consider him a friend. I'm I'm just saying, two years from now or three years from now or whatever, when there's some sort of, you know, small thing going on with the next president who's a Democrat or whatever, I want him, Mitch McConnell, to just say, "Hey, big nothing burger, fuck it." Now, right. I, mean, I mean, that's that's all I'm saying. You know, yeah. I I, I, when, I just want old turtle next. I went. Well, you know, there's. I can tell you that there were some points that Barack Obama did that I didn't agree with. Uh, it was the Iranian deal uh, and, and uh, you know, a number of things like that. I didn't dislike Barack Obama. I appreciated him as a person. Uh, and as a leader, he did what he had to do when it came time to send in the SEAL team. Mm -hmm. And and uh, would I vote for him? No, I didn't right. vote for okay. him. All but right. I voted for someone that I believe right. was going to uh, somebody, stand up somebody for the has things his, that I somebody wanted. Somebody has his hand up, uh, and it happens to be Rob. Yes, Rob. So the difference between Barack Obama and George Bush and pretty much any president in my lifetime mm -hmm. is that this man is a known liar. He is a known cheat. He, he's told over 9,000 lies in less than two years. How can you believe a word that comes out of his mouth? I just it's not what he says. It's what he does. Well, what he does <laughs> sucks, Phil. I like what he does. What do, you, what do you like that he does, Phil? I like that he put uh, Jerusalem to be the capital of Israel. What? I like the He's, fact it, it, that he pulled out of the nuclear deal ooh. with Iran. I like the fact that he shook up NATO and said, you know, you're going to have to start paying your way. I like the fact that he shook up the UN. And I like the fact that he How do he shake up, up the UN? How do he shake up the UN? Uh, he shook up the UN by not just abstaining and, and uh, you know, when he had that uh, gal from South Carolina in there, she let them have it. Uh, on a, on a number of issues, Nikki Haley, yeah, Nikki Haley, and 
he's uh, you, you yeah, treated like Nikki the Haley there like she was the he's maid. Protecting the borders. Hmm? You were treating Nikki Haley like she was the maid. That gal we had in the, uh, in, the <laughs> I didn't in the United Nations. She comes in, she you can't, empties you the can't ashtrays. Remember a name unless it's written under the person's chin. What? I, do I Give have any? Do I have any crib notes here? I said Nikki Haley <laughs> off the top yeah. of my head. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, you you remember those things, but you don't remember the other stuff. I had yeah. I had uh, I had um, you know well forget it anyway. I remember she uh, was from South Carolina. Well, that was that was good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, yeah, yes, uh, Trump uh, is wait a minute, also wait a minute. Doing, Charlie, I, I uh, Charlie, Charlie stuff, has his hand. It, Charlie has idea. his hand up. There are other people that want to talk here, Phil. All right. Well, yeah. I was the one that was called not a man. Charlie. Yes. <laughs> yes, Charlie. Uh, Phil, you also said that uh, we, were, we hate Trump because of false information being fed to us by the Iranians and, and other countries. And the Russians and the Chinese. Yeah. Yeah, I, and well, I believe that you guys I guess have been it's conned. Not true then that the, that the uh, will you let wait a minute, Phil, 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 wait a minute, hold, hold on a second, Charlie. Kids from their parents and didn't keep track of which kids went to which parents. So now he has thousands of kids that and their parents are who knows where the fuck they are, and they can't connect those kids back up. Charlie, that by the way, Phil, lie, huh? Phil, that never you, really happened will because you be, that was something false. Will you the be, Russians are the Iranians? Uh, okay, Phil, will yes. you be decent what enough? What about the terrorists that have uh, no. practically destroyed farmers? You like that, or is yes. that another lie that the Iranians and the Russians told us? Those are things that I hate Trump for doing yeah. shit like that. Okay, okay, I'm glad you. I'm glad you think that. Yeah, and and Phil, yeah. when somebody starts talking, don't interrupt them. Let them say what they're going to say. But you jump right in, and it distracts them. It's a conversation. No, it you you can't. No. I'm sorry, it can't. On Skype, it isn't exactly a conversation because everybody gets muted from everybody else and things oh. like that. So, and when you see somebody with their hand up, yield to them, okay? Because that's the rule. You never right. raise your hand for any reason. Uh, oh wait a minute! I'll fix oh, you're going to go get your glove. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna go get your masturbation glove. Also, I guess it was a lie that he passed this huge tax cuts that the millionaires and billionaires are benefiting to the tune of hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars. Hey, yeah. And now he wants to cut Social Security and Medicare to pay for that. Why? That's another lie. You know who? You know what? Millionaire. Why, 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 wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a Alex. second. Wait a minute, Charlie. Why have you suddenly gone blurry? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, there you just anything. you just came back into focus again. Uh, 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 I, um, you know, I just, I just think that uh, we listen. We we hate him. You know, what can I say? Hello, Kevin. How are you this evening? How are you this evening, Kevin? You've been hearing his blood sugar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's been going on? Not much. Good old same old stuff. Same old stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, is uh, have uh, you got your remote control on tonight? Yep, I'm charging tonight. You're, you're charging tonight. <laughs> how, now, how do you charge? By the That's hour, I know. Gizmo thing here. Y but I'm you, sitting on it. Oh, you sit on it and it charges the thing in your back. And I got to put it around where the gizmo yeah. is. In my is back this there. is this thing a lot of trouble or is it? Pretty simple nah, once you get used I to it. I do it every two days now. And he, right it, now it, I'm kind of gauging. Explain what you did. You, you put a device in your back, which... Uh, I did it, yeah, I yeah. it done. <laughs> you put a device in your back, which uh, which is supposed to help with the pain. Does it help with the pain? It's starting to, yeah. It is starting We're to. We're still messing with a lot of programs right now. I just changed it again tonight. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what uh, kind of program? Shiatsu and, uh, you know... Yeah, like, a little different ones there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can't feel them. Yeah, no. but no, it's, it's it's cool. Jeff, how are you doing? How are you doing tonight? Are you you hearing okay? And you able to talk yeah, okay? Everything's good right now. Yeah. What? Well, anything you want to say about uh, what we're talking about? Oh God! I wish <laughs> Trump would leave. That's all. You know, it was, last night I was saying that if Trump died, I would probably be a terrible human being. Yeah, me too. You know, because I'd be sitting here going, "Good," you know. Save the I mean, nation. huh? It would be a double whammy. It'd be, it'd be, we'd be, we'd be celebrating, but then we'd be looking up there and watching Pence take the take the oath. Mm. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have to hope they both have heart attacks at the same time. Or Together. Something, you exactly. know, because, be, because guess who becomes president? Yeah, Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi. Huh? Do they ever fly together? Oh, they never fly together, point. right? I don't think they fly together, no. No. Yeah, um, in yeah. fact, I don't think presidents usually, they're always yeah. in two different places. Yes, Tony? Here's a question. This is not really about Phil or anything. Do you think that maybe, and I'm not singling out the last couple of presidents as a whole, don't you think we've really been let down from the presidents for the last 20 years? Looking back now. Well, I don't. I I don't think did Obama let you down. I mean, we wait, 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 Phil, to say they, I'm they asking him. him. He did put a mandate on health insurance that he was going to hit people with. That was kind of wrong. Well, but the, remember, if you don't have health insurance, you got to pay a fine. Well, yes, I agree with that. It, you, I, we would all agree with that. But I think a lot of that was he was trying to get what he could get in the way of a. Uh, of some kind of Affordable Care Act, in spite of the fact the Republicans wouldn't let him have much more than that because he had a Republican Congress to deal with. So it's really a cobbled together kind of idea. Uh, oh, look, Al Jolson, ladies and gentlemen, wants to talk. <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, just like with the Obama mandate that you had to have the insurance, you know that 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 is no different than saying that you've got to pay to vote. You know uh, what? It should, what? We yeah. shouldn't. Yeah, we, but that is the is, worst. Is, that is the worst in comparison this country, I've ever heard you, you in my life. You gotta pay taxes. Yeah. You gotta pay taxes. Yeah. Uh, but and and you know eventually Unless you're, you're going to die. Hmm? Yeah, but I Unless mean you're it's rich. A, yeah. Well, no, the but rich he, pay taxes too. Who do you yeah. think pays the taxes? Yeah. It, it's it's not the guy making twenty grand a year. He's not paying the taxes. He's exempt from all of those things. Really? It's, it's the guy yeah. that's making seventy five, eighty, a hundred, hundred and fifty thousand a year that's paying the brunt of the taxes. And just not because you don't percentage, not by percentage, they aren't. The percentage doesn't mean anything. You uh, think that bullshit. one man? I gotta pay twenty percent of my, but 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 Bill Gates only pays one fifth of a percent. Yeah, but his... what is one? One fifth of uh, of a percent of Bill Gates's money compared to twenty percent of your money, you know. He should why pay the he same pay percentage. percent also. Why shouldn't well, everybody then, be twenty? Then you should get a flat tax. Uh, you know, I don't see anything wrong with a flat tax. What do you mean? Every time you get a flat tire, you get taxed according... for it. <laughs> what? Every time you get a flat tire, you get taxed for it. Yeah, really. Uh, no, but a, a flat tax. Uh, if, if this is what you're saying, would be fair, you know. You, you know what I think they should do. Here's I didn't mean interrupt, <laughs> Philip. I just want to finish one more point. I actually think, as an American citizen, they should lower the Social Security when you can start collecting full. Why don't they start working with the people? It, it, yeah, you know, you're Tony. You're absolutely right. I've been saying that for yeah. years because what the problem is, is that we start giving people. Uh, Social Security at 65. Now, in this day and age, you try and tell yeah. me somebody who's 60 who can find a job, you know, yeah, or 55 and can get a job. All right. Uh, and that's uh, you can, you can get it at 62. I know you can get it at 62, Phil, but, but people are not being hired at 55 exactly. now. Right. Yes, Rob. He's right about that. You know, that I understand why you want to give Social Security at age 60 or earlier, whenever that is. The problem is not that the problem is i'm 62 i can't afford health care without working well, that's until what I we get need to medicare yeah. yeah well absolutely but i mean i would i would retire and give my job to a 30 something exactly. yeah if you but don't you know what, you know what it time. is maybe if you maybe don't have if you don't have a job if you're mm -hmm. out of work you should be able to collect medicare right yeah. well, well maybe you can down. in a way uh, isn't it called medicaid when uh, if you're out of work, you don't have any income. I don't uh, think. I, I, think uh -huh. I don't think that's good medical. I think that's well. Like it's it's the same medical. as Medicare. I think. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. No, it's, 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 it's a little different. Income. It's yeah. Be real yeah. Low well, if if you're on if you're on uh, unemployment or something yeah. like that, I would imagine that's low income. If you don't, or or if you don't have any income coming in because you can't work, you yeah, you know next uh, to low. Yeah. yeah. By the way, somebody's yeah, got a little. Case. Somebody, hold on a second. Somebody's got some kind of hiss coming from their um, their feed. I don't know who, where where it's coming from. Uh, uh, 
Uh, Kevin, would you just mute your your microphone a second? Could be his charger. Yeah, yeah I just moved it away. Did oh, it that's away? what it was. Okay, because it sounded like there was some kind of static. It was a charger. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not the, now. It's back again. It's back. Oh again. no, I I can hear it now too. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't move anything. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, we want you charged. We don't want you to go into pain. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Go ahead. This is, you know, this is Alex Bennett's uh, God's waiting room. Yeah, it's anyway, far away now. Uh, it's, not, it's not there. And yeah, it's not it's, making a noise. Yeah, we don't really hear it that much. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I wonder what that was. I was thinking that, you know, trouble with doing the citizen well. panel is trying to isolate who, who's got some kind of noise going on, you know. And, hey, good news. It wasn't Jeff, you know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, when it comes to Trump... Oh, go ahead. Sorry, Jeff. No, I was going to just change the discussion a little bit, just f because there's an area that I, I've never really figured this out. You know, I always remember that the the the, the Senate mm -hmm. had certain responsibilities that were different than the Congress. Yeah. And, and I tell and, you, hold hold on a sec, Jeff. Hold on one second. Uh, do me a favor, Kevin. Just mute yourself unless you want to talk, okay? Because I think there's some kind of interference coming well, in it's there. Well, not, it's not me because I was muted. Oh, you yeah, were muted. muted. Uh, I, yeah, it now didn't, I'm not it didn't muted. Show it wasn't me. me. Do you hear that hissing? Uh, yeah, it wasn't me. Yeah, I don't know who it is. Uh, it just stopped. Who? Uh, it, that's no? me. Oh, I you? don't know where that's coming from, but that's me. Oh, okay. Well, just mute yourself unless you want to okay. talk, okay? That'd be uh, the best I way don't, to do it. I think it might just be in Skype because I muted myself. I heard it stop, and then I was still muted, and yeah, it Well, continued. no, but it, it was Rob. He was right. And we don't know what oh. it was, but... He, and, and Rob, whenever you want to say something, just turn your mic on, you know? Those earplugs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know. But uh, anyway... Jeff, what, can you repeat yeah. what you said? So I was trying to understand for the the fact that the Senate had additional responsibilities for dealing with other countries, and, and I assume that that would include uh, Russia, and 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 particularly anything that had to do with a whole bunch of Russian people who were trying to screw up the country in our yeah. voting system. Yeah. yeah. Is that true, or has it changed? Well, Maybe not effectively, but pragmatically. Listen, we have a whole bunch of things we need to deal with in this country, and we're not dealing with them. And I doubt in my lifetime, which is probably <laughs> short, uh, it's 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 ne they're never going to be taken care of. One is the electoral college. That's one. One is health plans. You know, Medi uh, Medicare for everybody. Uh, we can afford it if we didn't spend so goddamn much money on our military, which is really an expense that's out of hand. It's it's over fifty percent of our national uh, uh, cost. And uh, other countries, like England, uh, they're only at uh, something like 10% of the, the tax dollar of the Brits goes to their military, whereas ours, it's like 55% of your tax dollar goes to the military. Think of what we could do with that money when you talk about national health care, you know, free health care for all people. Why don't we want everybody to get free health care? Why don't we want everybody to be well? What's wrong with that notion? You know, and now Phil will tell us why it's what's wrong with that notion. Well, there's nothing wrong with it if, uh, you know, people would uh, be healthy in the first place, but we uh, the system would be overwhelmed. You know, in countries where uh, single-payer health care works, like mm -hmm. uh, Sweden and Finland, uh, they have uh, a pretty healthy lifestyle, even Japan. Yeah. Uh, in this country, Charlie said it, you know, 40-something percent of the people have diabetes. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the majority of the people in this country are obese. Uh, 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 Phil, uh, Phil, 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 forget you know about why? that. Forget about, you're, what you're doing is you're making a case on how people can be well. When you're speaking about obese, you mm -hmm. are. 
Yeah, so, but so, I pay for my own health care. Yeah, but, right. but you won't. As soon as you can get Medicare, you're going to be taking Medicare I, faster I than paid, the, not only did I faster pay for than that. shit can come out of your ass. I already, I already up. Uh, I, I went online and I signed up for the Medicare. Oh, okay. So don't even begin with that. Are, are you okay. denying me my entitlements? Huh? It's not <laughs> an entitlement. What it's I'm not, entitled it's not, to it's not an enti it's not an entitlement. Them. It's called an earned benefit. Oh well, I earned that benefit. You know, and, when we stop when we stop thinking about these things as entitlements and start thinking about them as earned benefits, maybe we'll be up uh, uh, think uh, uh, having a pretty good notion of what this is all about. Well, maybe yes, Tony's got his hand up on his question of Finland. Let's look up the population of Finland and mm. the population of the United States. Then get back to me. Well, what does yeah, that have to do with it, Tony? We, we, have how many 1800. They, we also have more people paying taxes in the United States than pay taxes in Finland. So we're talking about the, exp the expense of medical care. You know, and the fact is that we overspend on the military to a point where it's just disgusting. Well, and and that money could go much. towards uh, towards health care. It could go towards a lot of things. And, and it has nothing to do with socialism. It has to do with people being healthy and being, uh, you know, when people don't go to, here's Phil, here's why people get sick. And then we'll go to Rob. Here's why people get sick. It's because they don't go to the doctors to get their yearly checkups. That's and they don't go when something's wrong with them because they don't want to have to pay the cost because they can't afford it. They can't even afford the fucking cost. Oh, pay. All right. Just go yes. Rob. Rob. I'm going to I'm going to bring up another point here when it comes to health in this country. And yeah. a, a big part of the reason why there's so much obesity and there's so much unhealth is because our FDA is on the take. It's all about our other countries don't allow the kinds of additives and things that go into our food supply mm -hmm. to be in their food supply. Yeah. Why is it here that if you could lobby and add all these additives and put all this crap out there. People eat this shit. Are you blaming Trump for this? No, I'm blaming no. our government for this. Yeah. I'm blaming the fact that there are. it's more important to have a, a, a lobby group that pours a lot of money into a campaign for guys to vote on stuff instead of doing what's right. That's a big reason why we're unhealthy in this country. So that's the Congress. Well, I mean, what's with a cunt like Nancy DeVos wanting to do away with the Special Olympics? I mean, come on. Well, she died? Yeah, yeah, well, she, yeah, she did. But the but Trump finally, when the heat got too heavy, he said, well, we're not going to get rid of the Special Olympics because he, you know, he, he participates in them. Uh <laughs> It's only when he can win. You know, because that's, for, that's, because that's, for, that's, for, that's for kids who have, have, have health problems and are also morons. Anyway, See, yeah. I, 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 when it comes to the Special Olympics, I have a, a different belief. I think Trump created that to become a hero. He created the problem, then he stepped in, and he... You could be right. Here. You could be you right. You don't want Trump to cut expenses? But... Uh, uh, I, I, Phil, 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 you tell me, wait a minute, hold on a second. You do realize that the national debt has gone up hugely since he became president. Yeah, it went to twenty-one trillion from uh, nineteen, I think. Oh well, it's still. He said he was going to yeah. cut it. Barely two years in. Well, yeah. uh, you don't. You think that the budgets that were in place are budgets that Trump came up with? Uh, that 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 kicked the, in. And, yes, and, the budget. He 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 is wound up between one thing and another, calling out the national guard for the wall and this thing and that thing. He is upped it two trillion dollars, and this is the guy who said he was going to bring down the national debt. So well, what about that one, Phil? What about that lie? The national debt wasn't caused by sending in security uh, Phil, debt to handle Phil, a Phil, threat. the fact was he said he was going to cut down on government spending, and instead it's at an all-time high. Yeah, so he's pulling out of Syria. He's pulling, he's it, pulling back he knows on, he's not, on a he's, number of He's things. not pulling out of Syria. He, he was, yeah. he, that was another thing he said. I'm pulling out of Syria, and then he never pulled out of Syria. <laughs> Well, the, yeah. the, the additional money on the deficit is almost completely driven by the tax package that was passed last year. So, yes, that is 100 percent, you know, Trump and, and the Republican Party. And that tax package is expected to add over $10 trillion to the debt 
uh, I believe, in the span of either 15 or, or, or 20 years. I mean, it's the largest um, deficit-expanding tax package in, in the history of the world, as far as I know. I mean— Gosh. You don't think that the increase in business and the increase uh, that we're having in revenue, we, we're having one of the best uh, markets and, and, and business environments. There's uh, lowest unemployment. Uh, when you have low unemployment, you have people working. When they're working, they pay payroll taxes. So why is the deficit still going up and not down? Well, you have to seed sometimes the field before you can get the crop. And uh, Okay. I, I, I didn't, again, I didn't again, want to, that, well, why uh, don't you uh, just why don't they just seed the field with all the crap that's coming out of his mouth? Well, I, I mean, I, 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 go ahead, Josh. I'm okay. I'm okay with that as a policy position. I mean, I seriously, I don't have any problem with that whatsoever. I, I don't necessarily agree with it, but I have no problem with that being a policy belief that you have. Again, to keep with my theme of the evening, all I'm saying is, if we do this show five years from now. And the deficit is $2 trillion higher than it was, and there's a Democrat in office. Please, I just want you to be like, well, that's no big deal. Everything's – it's it's all cool. I, I don't that's want all a I'm saying deficit. because I, I just believe deficit. that if that's the case, two or three years from now, the party that you claim yourself to be a member of and probably yourself, will their heads will just be exploding well, about John, the national debt. I believe that saying. the debt will go down – Based on uh, uh, balancing trade with China, uh, as as well as getting out of the NAFTA agreement, there, there, uh, there's there's a number of mm -hmm. there's a number of things, and and also as the economy increases, we get more tax. The debt that goes down. Yeah. But our trade uh, deficit is the biggest it's ever been in history. Uh, and that yeah. happened under Trump. Uh, well, because we've got more business, people are buying stuff. But no, no, the trend no, is to no. buy American now. The trend oh, is, it is, you know, people come it into is. my what, store will and they you say, tell me, I you, want something you made please, in the U.S. Will you please tell me what they're buying? Well, they, in my store, it's called flooring. Yeah, is, uh, but, and is it all uh, made here in this country? A lot of it. No, I, a and, lot and of it. I said, I said, well, if you're such a good American, why don't you sell only American flooring? I try to. Well, why don't you? Well, uh, some uh, now most of the stuff is coming from Vietnam and Korea, I see. Uh, rather than uh, you know, uh, uh, rather than China. Yeah, but yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Know, yeah. No, but what Chinese. I'm saying is, Phil, why don't you buy nothing but American flooring? Uh, you can't. Why? But, why can't you? You say you, you that you say it's made here. Well, certain products aren't uh, made here, but oh, many products are. I see. You drive American cars. Uh, yeah, well, no, not that. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> Ford and the Chevy. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I got a Toyota, and, I've and driven it was American actually made in Japan. My whole life. But you know, I when I was looking at you cars, know something, Phil. I, if I would say uh, with you, I would walk the walk. Okay. Well, I I, I looked at Instead cars just a couple months ago, before I got the ch the new seat. We don't want you. And excuse. I looked at a Volvo. We don't want your excuse. And the guy said it was made in China. Yeah, the well, Volvo made in China. Yeah. So, so I, I said, no, nah, I don't want that. They know where they make good cars. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, th there was something else that I wanted to bring up, and uh, which is Venezuela. And uh, what's the? it looks like the Russians are sending more troops to Venezuela. <laughs> and I'm wondering how Trump is going to handle this. This is going to be, I believe, the first real test of Trump and his... Uh, and his uh, diplomatic policies, you know how, uh, you know I'm I'm just wondering. Yeah, I mean the great this, dip, this, the great diplomat who's sending our troops down to help him. <laughs> uh, I I'm not sure, but the Russian troops are are uh, are arriving, and they're going That's in on whose heard. side? We were sending ours down there, and and the Russians are going in on whose side? Maduro's. Uh, I don't <laughs> know that. I'm not sure there's a side. Is is it Maduro? Yeah, well, Maduro is yeah. the guy who's a the well ostensibly supposed to be considered the president of the country, according to him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so, th yeah, this, this is, this is going to come to a head soon. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how it's going to get handled. I'm not looking but, forward yeah. to seeing how it's going to be handled at all, because uh, I can't believe that Trump knows how to handle this kind of situation. That one well, of that's, five we'll see. Kiss Putin's ass you know, of course, of course, he's the great negotiator because, you know, uh, South North Korea isn't, building rockets anymore nuclear devices so that that was so, really good negotiating 
yeah, our, our, and and Obama allowed the oh, Russian no, 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 Ukraine. not what about ism, not not yeah. what about ism. You use Obama, it all the time. Obama isn't president anymore. Trump is. He's the one yeah. I have to worry about when he goes to fucking North Korea and says, "I believe this man. He's a good man." Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Let the other Mexicos take care of it. Well, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. It, it's it's just it's interesting to me that this is starting to you know formulate right now, and I you know I'm I'm looking you know I, I'm not looking forward to this happening, but I'm I'm interested in how Trump is going to handle it. You're interested in how he's going to handle it. Me too. Yeah, he'll he'll handle it like some kind of clown show. Who knows? What well, we'll see. Know. This 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 is a deciding moment. This is an, a moment where he can actually show what he's made out of. Okay. He'll do whatever Putin wants him to do. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, Why? I'm your puppet. Well, I just because we're at the end, I hope Phil knows that I know I was particularly hard on him tonight, but it's not. Uh, hard. Uh, uh, okay, I just want to know it's not a personal. It's more, I mean, you're the only member of the Republican Party on the panel, so it sounds like I'm ragging all over you, but. Gosh, I don't take know, it personal. Okay, I just don't want it to be that way, and I, because you know, I, I guess I use the term earlier, you know, "be a man" or whatever. I, I, that's a common term, I suppose. I just want to make clear, you know, I'm not trying. I think the to, term is "man up." You know, yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm not trying to, you know, because I'm trying to be fair, and I'm trying to live what I know. you know. The Democrats say, "I know that." You know, Josh, we should live. I don't. I don't want to run you down and that kind of thing. If I didn't really like you guys. I wouldn't come here every night. Well, hey, and I, you know what? I understand that. I, I, you do do a, a a hard thing. You come on, and you talk to a group of people every night that completely disagree with you, and that is probably not easy to do. Hey, right. Juan Williams does it. You well, know? right. Yeah, yeah, but he gets paid a lot more money than you do to do it. Uh, how do you know? <laughs> you have a point. You know, I mean, um, uh, um, yeah. Well, but uh, Juan Williams, yes, he's also hired. But got a few. Oh, Alex uh, is giving you a uh, 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 Gabnet bucks under the table. There, that's right. Hey, that's when right. Gabnet goes public, <laughs> I'm going to be rich. A few little items I had here, but you know, I never have to really get to the items I've I've uh, I, I've prepped for because when I just say, "How are you guys?" That's all we need, and I just sit back and I shut up. Um, the city of Chicago says it's going to sue Jesse, Jesse Smollett, setting up the likelihood that he'll be tried after all in civil court for allegations that he faked the infamous hate crime on January 29th in which he said he was attacked by two men. Uh, and they, uh, the city reports it's moving forward with plans to sue Smollett. The action comes after the city demanded a payment of $130,000 for the cost of investigating the case. Did you hear uh, yeah. Smollett says he's not paying? Did he say that? Yeah, I got it right here. Yeah. Uh, well, I, you don't. don't I, I'll believe you. That's one. Yeah, Smollett things. refuses to pay Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he he may be up for a, uh, you know, a, a big surprise. And there, all, there's. Uh, it's not just Chicago. There's the federal things where, where he uh, made the um, uh, said that uh, he mailed white powder to the set. And uh, they thought it was anthrax, and uh, anthrax, and that. Well, no, they uh, say he he was the one that mailed it. That's the charge. Right. He isn't saying he's the one that mailed it. Right, but okay. that's uh, those charges can bring uh, more uh, issue yeah, than uh, than the Chicago ones. Right, right. So, but anyway, and also the district attorney uh, in Chicago, they're asking her to step down over the Smollett case, that they feel that the fact that she dropped the ball was wrong, you know. Uh, oh, the uh, Kim... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's... that's um, they're saying that... Uh, uh, not Media Matters, but who's the guy that runs Media Matters? Uh, the billionaire. Um, Soros. Yeah. Uh, has some connection uh, to, uh, to this um, a prosecutor in uh, Chicago. Uh, and that... Uh, it was his influence that um, uh, caused them to drop the case uh, against the... Uh, well, the point is that, that, you know, her argument was that she would have gone ahead with that case, but she didn't, uh, she didn't like uh, the... What is that noise? Uh, uh, that, that there's a... There, that uh, she felt that uh, going ahead with the case was a bad idea because... Uh, even if they found him guilty, 
the uh, time for the crime and so on wouldn't be worth the time they were spending on this when there were so many other things that needed to be adjudicated. I think that was her, her reasoning. But nobody buys that. What they buy is that privilege well, has its right. You know, it's privilege. You know? I don't think that they should go after the guy any more because he's a celebrity. Uh, you know, uh, and if she was looking at uh, the fairness of going after him, and if they wouldn't prosecute someone else on that same kind of thing, then uh, she made the right decision. Yeah, but somebody who was famous, okay, Somebody who was not famous would not do what he did because uh, he was doing it because he wanted to be more famous. Is, yeah, is the argument? Is the it. argument? So you know you're you're, you're at, having a rather specious argument there that you know. Well, it it also seems that his mother uh, was very close to Angela Davis, and he has uh, uh, you know this background that. Well, it doesn't to... matter if he committed a crime. He committed a crime. And, uh, you know, the people of Chicago are pissed off about this, and there are a lot of blacks in Chicago, then, you know. Uh, the other thing is is that, like, for instance, you look at Felicity Huffman and uh, what's her name? Uh, the, the woman, yeah, Lori Laughlin. Lori Laughlin. Uh, the, the, by, the, by the way, the attorney, district attorneys there, or the attorneys, uh, I think it's a federal case, if I'm not mistaken, uh, have uh, said that they, they really want to throw these women in jail. Now, the thing that bothers me is Lori Laughlin, hey, she paid $500,000 to get her kids into college, and the only thing that uh, Felicity Huffman did was fifteen thousand dollars worth, and I don't think she was a bad negotiator. Yeah, well, no, yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, she had somebody take the SAT for a kid, and that was it. You know, uh, I think that is not to the extent that, for instance, Lori Laughlin's case is, where they were faking pictures of her on a rowing team and things like that, so that she could get some kind of an athletic scholarship, or not scholarship, but the entrance into the, into the school. Well, maybe it'll come out that the guy who was running this scam may have said to them, hey, this, this is fine, we do it all the time, I've done it for these people and those well, people. Well, I'm sure that's exactly what he said. Yes, uh, yes, Rob. Cheating is cheating. I don't understand yeah. how you're even having this discussion. Mm -hmm. You cheat on a test, you cheated. Yeah. I don't care if oh, they've done it for others. Doesn't make it right. If you photo, no, I, if, I if you Photoshop right, a, a picture, be prosecuted. If you Photoshop a, a picture of your kid on a rowing team and they weren't on a yeah. rowing team, you know <laughs> you're cheating. Of course, you know, they, but uh, you know the. That's they're going the to pay. With this world. And you they know. probably didn't realize, I will say, they probably didn't realize the extent of their crime. Okay. Exactly. Uh, the, 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 that it would be. That doesn't excuse it. That doesn't no, excuse it. Doesn't it. And okay. it, 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 you so know. they should be prosecuted. Exactly. So, I mean, you know, the fact is, uh, uh, they, they, you know, they may have thought, hey, that's kind of innocent. Nobody, well, who's going to come after us on this? Well, you're wrong. You know, somebody decided that there was a case here, and let's do something about it. Well, I feel these a little people are in the media, and really? you know, they're 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 acting and 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 making up stories all the time. That's what they do for a living. So why was this any different than uh, you uh, the know, actors don't make up the stories, fiction, Phil? It means one is fiction and one is reality. You know? Well, maybe they're not separating fiction from reality. Ah. So yeah. then they need to be put in an institution if that's the case. Well, yeah. That's a possibility. Yeah. And, uh, you know, but it, 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 the institution shouldn't be that of higher learning. Okay. Right. So whatever. Well, how else are they going to learn? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, there's the theme. You know, with this new system I've got here, it actually goes by a lot faster and a lot easier. And, the you know, it looks terrific and... Uh, it gets a lot of people watching, and I, I'm very happy with it, and I'm very happy with you guys for giving us such a spirited conversation. In, your, uh, in the upper corner, going across, we got, uh, we got Phil Meyer, and we got Josh Wheeler, and we got... Um, um, oh, God, my mind is just... A, uh, Charlie, yeah. <laughs> Charlie uh, Wallace. Nikki, Nikki Charlie Kelly. Wallace. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we got uh, uh, Tony, and we got Rob, and we got Kevin. I think I got them all. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, we don't have the names anymore that I, I can do go over here, and I can kind of see your names if I push on the uh, on the on the Skype, but that's too much trouble. Hey, listen, this has been uh, fun again. 
Uh, and if you all give a big wave goodbye, I'm sure people would love that, okay? Yes, there they go, folks, and I'll wave back at them, okay, for my little square. And, uh, yeah, goodbye. Goodbye, guys. They're, they're over there on my screen. So. Anyway, that's it for our, uh, our citizen panel for tonight. Boy, they were terrific. They really were. And uh, I'm happy they were with us as well. Uh, listen, uh, coming up next, we got a thing called the, uh, the intersection with uh, Jack Bishop. And right after that, uh, it is uh, 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 nobody. <laughs> and then tomorrow night at, at 9.30, it's the uh, uh, ex exchange with uh, Damian Chaplin. And then I'll be back again. When is it? Oh, uh, 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Yeah. Uh, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody.